SDS Aron Cone Ultra Video Powder T Oi. Another computer problemo. This time a printer is the culprit. And let's delve into it. In a few minutes I will tell you what the solution is. I have a Canon MX490 printer which no longer will print. I continue to receive a message on my computer that the printer is offline. I have done the setup over and over and receive a message on the printer that it is connected but it will still not print correctly and successfully. Okay, they also tried to print with their Wi-Fi over their wireless router. When I try to print with the cable in reference to a universal serial bus cable, instead of by Wi-Fi, I get the same message. Printer is offline. That's a very popular common error message that you will receive in the printing world. And then the automated system asked them again how they were connecting their Canon MX490 printer wirelessly or by universal serial bus. They stipulated a second time. I've tried both, but I always have used Wi-Fi before. Oh, here, this could be another clue. I have a new Wi-Fi provider and did the setup, but doesn't work. So they admit that they changed their wireless provider or they changed their, um, well, I'm assuming they are referring to their internet modem that also includes wireless Wi-Fi. Another automated question, when did you last update the printer driver software on your computer? Well, I thought I did it last week when trying to deal with this, but not sure. One more question and then I will get into the solution. I will start discussing the solution. What operating system are you using? This is what I asked, not the automated system. For example, Apple Mac and crap 10.11, 10.12, 10.13, 10.14, 10 crap, micro slop, wind blows 7, 8, or 10. They responded, the customer responded with, I'm running Windows 10 on Chrome. <laughs> well, well, that answer doesn't make logical sense. Now, I'm not sure. I know you can install wind blows, micro crap, micro slop, wind blows operating system on a Mac and crap. I have no idea why you would. I think it's called boot camp. There, I, there could be a utility. I just do not know for installing micro crap micro slop wind blows 10 on a google chrome but chrome that's a web browser are they referring to chromebook i'm not sure anyways let me back up this is part of the answer now there was a clue here and you if you are paying attention you may or may not have noticed it i have a new wi-fi provider and did the setup but doesn't work now that could be the problem. So they were printing along and then they admit that they changed wireless providers. Now Comcast, CenturyLink, etc. They will rent to you or you can I think even purchase a internet modem router from them that has built in wireless. It has Wi-Fi. It's going to require a subscriber identity name which is also known as the SSID and then a password when you change your wireless router even if it's just a normal wireless router that you plug into your internet mo modem router well you have to remember that you have to use the new subscriber set identity identifier also known as SSID that name which is the name the broadcast name of your router and then the password that could have been part of the problem but there could also be other details I just not I'm not 100% sure but that's my first tip here's my second tip which really should have been my first tip this is my gold tip when fucking with printers and printers can turn into an utter disaster my experiences are that number one you never ever connect your printer to your computer until the installation program tells you to whether it's a brand new printer and you're setting it up out of the box or you're going to reinstall 
because of a problem, never ever connect your universal serial bus cable to your printer. You know why? Because especially if it's a new install, it's a new printer out of the box, the operating system, even Macintosh and possibly possibly Linux, but especially micro crap, excuse me, micro slop, excuse me, wind blows, I mean, excuse me, and Apple Macintosh operating system. When you connect a device via the universal serial bus port, it's basically live. What will happen is it will detect your Canon MX490 printer and it will try to install a driver. If it finds one that it thinks it is sufficient, it will actually install it on your operating system. Then, when you go to install the Canon printer software and driver, either from a compact disc read-only memory or a download from their website, well, guess what? The installer will detect that there already is a printer driver and it may not replace it with the correct one. And so you're trying to print with an either incorrect driver or a generic driver or a driver that is close but not quite. And but basically, bottom line, you will not be able to print. So that is my gold tip of this video. I should have probably discussed that for my first tip, but moving on. Okay, so those are two tips. Now I'm going to give you the, the exact instructions that most likely fix their problem. Now we know what their operating system is, very important. Micro Slop Wind Blows 10 on a Chromebook. <laughs> All right. I'm not laughing at this customer, I'm just laughing at the statement, you know what I'm saying? What you will want to do is power off your printer. Then you will want to disconnect the power cable from the wall outlet. And then disconnect the universal serial bus printer cable from both your printer and computer. Press and hold the power button on your printer for 30 to 60 seconds. Leave your printer disconnected from power for 5 to 10 minutes. Now you will want to reconnect the universal serial bus cable to your printer and to your computer. And then also obviously reconnect your power cable. Let me give you another possible gold tip. Printers are extremely flaky. I have fixed printer issues by just disconnecting the universal serial bus printer cable. One end is square that connects to the printer. The other end is flat that connects to your computer. Disconnect the universal serial bus printer cable from both your computer and your printer and then reconnect both ends. And sometimes that will fix your issue. Again, print, you have these YouTube technology shills. I don't know if they're receiving compensation, but they just make up all kinds of absurd statements claiming, well, printers are perfect. Apple operating system is perfect. Apple Macintosh computers are perfect. PCs are perfect. Windows operating system is perfect. Microsoft is perfect. That is just not anywhere near reality. Now, now these are the final instructions. Power on your printer and see if it will now print. If it will print, you're most likely good to go. If your printer still will not print and you still receive that derogatory printer's offline message, these are further instructions. If that does not fix your problem, your problema, then you will want to follow these instructions, which I'm going to tell you right now. What you will want to do is you can leave the printer cable. You don't have to follow any of the previous instructions. You know what I'm saying? You will want to remove the printer software from apps and features. Now, these instructions are specifically from Microsoft Windblows 10 operating system. So you will want to go into apps and features from settings, remove the printer software from apps and features. Also here's another additional tip. Sometimes you'll see a separate piece of software that says printer driver. You will also want to remove your printer driver. Let's uh, this printer is a Canon MX490. Remove all pieces of software in apps and features that 
have Canon MX490. If that includes a driver and software, go ahead and remove it all. Then you will want to remove the printer from printers and scanners. So you will want to go into printers and scanners and remove the printer from there. If it's still, it probably still is existing in that there. Now you will want to open a command prompt. Now type the following command into a run box. I cannot demonstrate the second half of these instructions because I do not actually, <laughs> I no longer use Microsoft operating system now. In the future, I might plan on installing VirtualBox and installing Windows 10 or 11 or both in a virtual machine, but for now, no. So you're gonna have to open up a command prompt and then type in this command verbatim. Print UI, P-R-I-N-T UI space forward slash S space forward slash T, the letter T and the number two, and then hit enter. What that command does is it tells the operating system to completely remove the driver. This is another gold tip. A lot of times what you'll do is you will not be able to print and you keep trying, you keep, you know, you follow most of these instructions or, you know, a high percent. What you do is you go into what apps and features and you just remove the software from there and even the driver, no. Windows, even Linux, but especially Microsoft and Apple and even Linux, they perform a terrible job at cleaning up after themselves. I don't know why this is, but sometimes the printer driver on Microsoft does not get removed. It's still, actually, if you go into printers and scanners, well, no, excuse me. I, I don't want to get into the details because it's technical. The printer driver is still technically installed. That's why you want to run that print UI. Print UI space forward slash S space forward slash T the number two. And you can also perform an internet search for that command and learn about it and then learn about the variables you know what I'm saying the slash s the slash t2 you want to remove the driver and then this is why the driver may be corrupted oh yes Microsoft is corrupt and their and software and drivers sometimes becomes corrupt all right another problem is that when you go to install the Canon software and driver, and then you connected the US, the universal serial bus cable, and then there's a generic driver or there's a driver that's not the correct one, it will not install the Canon driver, the correct one successfully, because the driver's already there. And you, you can, I mean, seriously, you could just over, you can try this 10 times, until you physically remove the driver off the hard drive, you may not ever be able to print, and I'm not making that up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so those are the full instructions. Now, here is an additional bonus tip, which I don't know why I'm giving you this. I'm already at the 13-minute mark. This video is already too long. I will write a blog post with all of these instructions, and you will be able to copy and paste any of the commands. Well, actually, I think there's only one that you would copy and paste, the print UI command. The exact procedure is not the same. However, the generic, the general troubleshooting is the same. Well, not, you know what I'm saying? The exact instructions are not going to be the same on Apple Macintosh operating system. The general troubleshooting is the same. It's a paradox, so to, sort of you will want to remove the printer driver on Apple Macintosh also. You will want to remove the printer software. You will want to remove the printer from, what is it on, it, the, it, they're kind of the same actually, but not 100% the same. You know what I'm saying? If that is another video, but that's an additional tip. My point is that the printer driver could be 
what the culprit is. It could have become corrupt. It could be the wrong one. When you go to reinstall the printer, or if it's a new printer setup, and you connected the universal serial bus cable, and then the operating system loads a default or a generic driver, and then the Canon software installer detects that there's already a driver, it may skip it, it may try to install the correct one, and it may not be able to. The driver is the problem. The driver could be the problem. The printer driver could be the fucking problem. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. Good luck. And adios.